Hello everyone and welcome back to The Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and today we're going to have a really interesting conversation. You see, Creative Assembly have killed the chance of a Albion DLC, which was kind of expected, I'll be very, very honest with you. However, I think there's a lot to talk about here. You see, Immortal Empires has points of interest which give a little lore fact here and there and I think that's a really good thing that they can do because it really teaches people the lore. But as you can see here in Albion, there is one for the Ogham Shards, and the quote is as follows. It is said that the druids of the ancient, long-dead tribes of Albion bade a race of giants to construct a series of sewn circles across their island, whose mystical properties would allow them to channel chaos warding magic. This is actually fairly true. Albion is oddly resistant to the powers of chaos, and so were the tribesmen though some could fall, keep that in mind. But this is a very strange thing, because we've never really had a confirmation of a race being completely dead. We've had it with characters before, if you recall the Vampire Coast trailer, which says the Golden Magus is dead on the map. It's a very strange thing, but never for a full race or possible faction before. This is a very odd thing. This isn't like them saying, well, there's no plans to do Ind or Koresh at the moment. This is them putting something into the game specifically specifically saying a faction is completely destroyed. Which honestly is a weird thing as I kind of like the idea of mini race packs in the future, like a lot of people have been asking about that and it would work really well for Albion, but then we have to take into account that Albion is very very small, Bellacor is already there because it makes sense for him as a law friendly start position. Um, yeah, it's just odd. Now, I don't think that we won't get any sort of Albion influence in Total War Warhammer if we eventually get the Dogs of War, which I honestly think we will do. We'll end up getting like a Truthsayer for sure, a Dark Emissary, a Fen Beast, maybe even the Albion Giants, because they were a regiment of renown for the actual army book. And it would just be kind of nice to be able to have some little bit of Albion here. I don't know, maybe I was hoping too much, because obviously with Warhammer the Old World, we're expecting loads of new races and factions that previously weren't available on the tabletop, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about this, it's something that a lot of people have been asking me about, and it's, it's a bit of a shame, I must admit, but you never know, we could still probably get some Albion references, or even some units. One thing I will say is the inclusion of stuff like this in the future could potentially help us gauge what we could and couldn't see as content, um, which I know sounds pretty negative because you know Albion, but I think this makes things a bit more realistic for us. I don't know. We're gonna have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I personally think they should have just kept it open and not have something like that, but um, yeah, I guess there's no chance at Albion. You never know for the future, but for now it looks like that. 